is everybody doing on this fantastic king Monday? Well, it's actually a pretty shitty Monday for me. We have some stories. You lost $500, buddy. I lost more than $500. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, do I have stories for you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's a, it was a shit show this whole weekend. This whole fucking weekend. Casino shit show. We'll get into that. Super Bowl. Are you fucking kidding me? How the f did the Eagles lose, bro? If I'm not, if Jalen Hurts isn't the fucking single king carrying that fucking team, that and whatever that fucking one motherfucker was that caught every goddamn ball because everybody else on the fucking Eagles was blowing, fuck, dude. Jalen Hurts got what? Fucking four touchdowns? All right. Anyways, I was in live yesterday because of the Super Bowl. Uh, I went live early Saturday because I went to the casino. I have stories from both of those days. For those of you that may not know, I turned 21 on Monday of last week, right? A week ago today, I turned 21. On Saturday, I went to the casino. We're going to pan this out in order, right? We're going to talk about Saturday casino, Sunday Super Bowl. I lost money on both. Before we even get into this, do not get your hype up thinking that I'm going to, I walked out of the casino with $5,000. I walked out of the casino a worser man, okay? I walked out of the casino in shambles. I walked out of the Super Bowl in shambles. It is, this is going to be a shit show story. Let's just start out with that, okay? I took some pictures from the, from the fucking Atlantic City casino adventure, okay? As promised, I took pictures to go along with the story. We're going to be telling the story in correlation with the photos. The photos are pretty shitty. Brooke did her best, but I she was taking off-guard pictures of me, so I'm kind of moving in a lot of them. I walk into the Borgata. That was my casino of choice, right? There's eight casinos in Atlantic City. I chose the Borgata. I brought basically everybody I fucking knew to the Borgata to gamble money, and I was hype, right? I walk in. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking keen on what I'm going to do, and we're going to get into the story, and I followed suit to my general plan, but, you know... The winnings did not stick out. Starting off the night, walk into the Borgata. This is me. These are a few of my friends. I look, I look pretty dripped out, chat, rate the fit. This was around, I would say, 8 p.m. on Saturday night, okay? And, and to, to, be more, to be more true to the story, I'm pissed drunk in this photo. Um, you can't notice it because I'm sideways, but we walked in. I was drunk out of I, I, like, I... I was too confident. I got too drunk going into the casino. That's bad news, right? Because you're when you're at a casino, you're in an area where all you can do is spend money. That's 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 all you can do. And I walked in with cash because I'm not going to use their fucking whack-ass ATMs because the ATMs have a fucking $10 use fee, which is out of your fucking mind. You think I'm using that shit, buddy. I'm already going to lose money. You think I'm going to you think I'm going to tank a $10 fucking fee? We walk in I'm, I'm, I'm pretty drunk. First, first game I want to go to is roulette, right? And so that's where, we, that's where we head off to. We head off to roulette. About five minutes later, I'm sitting at the roulette table, right? I'm throwing bones. Keep in mind, keep in mind, if you, if you scroll in here, minimum bet for Super Bowl weekend at a roulette table, $25. $25 inside, outside, right? If you don't know what the inside, outside is, Inside's the numbers, outside's everything on the outside of the numbers. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So if you want to bet on the inside, you have to at least bet 25. If you want to bet on the outside, you have to at least bet 25. You can't spread in between the two. If you want to bet both on a single spin, you have to bet $50 minimum on the entire board. So it's a bit, you have to bet a lot of money. You got to bet, you got to bet a lot of money to make a lot of money, which I did not. I, you can't even see my chips in this photo. I'm up $250. In this photo, right? I'm betting thirds. I'm betting red, black. I end up starting. I, I end up start, starting to mingle in the middle, right? I start mingling in the fucking inside too. I start doing. I start throwing five dollar chips on five numbers. I hit a few times. We're there for about I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, and we eventually get to the point where the entire table is my friend group. We're all betting together. We're all betting fifty hundred dollars on red, fifty hundred dollars on fucking three three thirds, two thirds, whatever the fuck we're doing, right? And it's going great. We're not losing. One of my friends is up four hundred fifty dollars already. I'm up two fifty. Everyone at the table's up like three hundred dollars. We decide to get up and go to the slot machines, right? My friend says, "Yo, the wheel of fortune's pretty." I think the wheel of fortune's calling your name. 
We go over to the fu- I'm up. I'm up about 250. We go over to a slot machine. I lose that in about, you know, 10 seconds. No lie. Slot machine's biggest scam of your life. If you ever go to a casino when you're 21, never go to a fucking slot machine. You're going to lose money. They fucking shred money. The odds are impossibly fucking bad. Even if you win money, you never win back what you were at. So you just keep going and then you lose it all. So I lose about $200 at the slot machines in 30 minutes max. Doing fucking $3 spins, right? Fucking no hits. No hits. L slot machines. Fucking terrible. So I'm like, you know, fuck this. I'm going to go see what my other friends are doing, right? Because we're all, we're all kind of dispersed. And I walk over to one of my friends. He's playing online roulette, right? Or not online roulette. It's real roulette. But he's playing on a machine. He's not playing at a dealer. And he's like, bro, tell, I'm telling you, you got to sit down here. And so I sit down at the roulette. I sit down at the roulette table. I'm like, all right. You know, I'm about even walking into this interaction. I, I I lost my profits at the roulette table, the real roulette table, but now I'm at the online roulette. You know, let's throw some bones. And the reason that I don't like these machines is because they're too quick. When you're playing at a regular roulette table, it's like five minutes sometimes for them to fucking spin the wheel. Usually it's like two minutes, but they take a while. This thing spins every 20 seconds. And I don't like not betting. I don't like sitting there saying, you know, I'm going to I'm going to wait out this one. I'm not waiting out that one. I'm a fucking bet on it. So I burn through. Guess how much money I burn through in fucking 20 minutes of being here. Fucking $350 in 20 minutes. No lie. Losing every bet. Losing every bet I make. It gets to the point where one of my friends stands behind me. And he's like, bro, bro, and he's already down. He's down like 250, so he's already done, right? He's like, bro, I'm telling you, 250, 250, 150 black. I put 150 black, miss. And he's just staring at me. Five minutes go by. Bro, all black, trust me. I go 200 black, miss. And I'm, this is how I'm looking up at him. And then he would do it every time, right? So I'm sitting there playing. And I'm like, I'm not listening to you anymore. And so he starts telling me, no, it's black. It's going to be black, this one. It hits black. He's like, I told you so. I'm like, buddy, you've been telling me every single one is going to be hitting black. Obviously, it's not going to do that. You have no idea when it's going to hit black. You're telling me to, to bet black every fucking turn. And you have no idea when it's going to hit. A few times he says hit red. Those times it did hit red. But the majority of the time he's telling me to go black, it misses almost every time. I eventually risk it all, right? I throw $100 into the machine. Because I'm like, fuck this. I hate betting here. I want to go back to like regular shit. Like blackjack, roulette, whatever, right? On regular tables. So I'm like, fuck this. I throw 100 into the fucking machine. I bet one thirds, it hits. I got 300. I bet 100 on fucking one thirds again. It hits. I got 600. I lose down to fucking 300. I pull. I'm even. By some miraculous fucking chance, I'm even again. Even ag I'm there for two, three hours. Two, three hours. I'm even again. I have lost no money. I've made no money. I'm like, wow, this night's actually not going that bad. And that's kind of sad to say that I'm at a casino for two hours, three hours, and I'm not down money, and that's good. Like, I'm not up anything. I just haven't lost money. So we return. We return. Oh, and here's here's another image of me. This isn't the friend that was telling me to bet black, right? But this guy fucking, yo, off-topic story about this dude. Look how mad he is. Oh, he was fucking pissed. He was pissed off at me the whole time. I don't know if I was too loud or some shit. Look at him. Look at him just fucking mean mugging that roulette machine. Don't know how much money he was down. Probably a lot. Anyways, we go back to the roulette machine. Or not the roulette machine. We go back to the same roulette table. After fucking around, you know, everybody's just getting some drinks. We're chilling. We go back. I put $300 initial investment into the roulette. Lose it all. 200 more. Lose it. I'm down $500 at this roulette machine. And I'm itching, right? I'm like, fuck. Fuck. I'm like, I'm like getting mad and shit. I'm like, and I knew I was going to, like, right, I walked into this night knowing that I was going to lose money. But I was like, I was like, bro, I got my hopes up because I was doing so okay, so good at least. We're back at the roulette machine, or the roulette table. I'm down $500. One of my friends tries to move, he's standing, right, I'll go back to this image. This is not when we were here, right? But it's the same roulette table, same roulette setup. I'm sitting here 
My friend's standing there. He starts sliding twenty a 25 chip to odds, right? He knocks over, I don't know, everyone's chips. Like three people's chips. Moves them. Knocks over their chips, trying to move shit on odd. I'm like, that is a, ter a terrible scenario. You're in Atlantic City, and you just moved people's chips. They're going to kill you. They're going to stab you. No one notices. No one notices. He puts his money. I'm the only one that's noticing this. And I'm sitting there like this, right? Because I'm kind of upset, by the way, that I lost $500. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm watching this, right? I have 50 on, I have 50 on 2 to 1. Right, I have 50 on two to one here. And he he's going odds. And he knocks over this lady's chips that had, had her chips on like 25, 26, 22, 31. He fucking fumbles all those chips. And the dealer's like, is this where they were? And he's like, my friend goes, yeah, that is not where they were. I'm sitting there though. I'm not saying shit. I'm dead silent. I know that's not where they were. I don't know where they were, but I know that's not where they were. And so I'm sitting there, I'm like, and he, like, just kind of moved their chips back. The lady's chips that he moved zones back in. And right before he spins it, she goes, no, that's not where my chips were. And I go, oh, thank fuck, right? And four minutes have passed at this point. And so my friend, he starts, like, fuddling with his chips around, like, 25, right? And he had them on odd. He put them on 25. He's like, I'm sorry they were here. And he moved his chips on 25. And then he moved her chips back. He's fucking panicking. He's just moving his chips around. He's moving everybody's chips around. And she, like, remembers where she put it. So she puts all her shit around, blah, blah, blah. He has his chips on 25. By accident, he has $25 on 25. That's a 1 to 36, right? So if that hits, he'll get 36x. I'm sitting there, and I'm about to tell him, bro, you really got 25 on 25? Like, that's a dumbass bet. Like, the odds of that hitting are so low. And then, and then it clicks to me, and I'm like... I'm like, maybe this is a sign, right? And it's not. It's just all odds. But I'm sitting here. I'm like, this bro has been fumbling with his chips for four minutes. And he just and he just put all his chips on 25. And I'm like, nah, right? Because I'm like, I had my two to one bet. So even if it hit 25, I would still get money. And so I'm like, I don't need to put money on 25. It's whatever. It hits. He wins $900 because he fucking accidentally moved motherfuckers' chips. He accidentally moved somebody's chips, moved his own, freaked out, gave up, and it fucking hit. He wins $900. I win $150. If I had just moved my chips, and you know, I would have never done it, logically, because betting 50, I had 50 bucks on two to one. Betting 50 bucks on 25 is the dumbest thing ever. But I was thinking about it because I was like, everybody has their chips on 25 now because this motherfucker's taking forever. And so if I put my shit on there, I would have walked out with like, what, 1,800 bucks? But realistically, it would have never hit. So, you know, I at least got 150 bucks. He got 900. So I'm like working my way back up. I put 200. I'm down, I think, what, $500 still at this point. I'm down a lot. After I, I lose that money, I'm gambling again, blah, blah, blah. I'm down 500 bucks. I put 200. No, I was down 400. I don't know. I was down some amount of money. I put 200 on one thirds. And I was like, if this doesn't hit, I'm leaving. It hits. I get 600 bucks. I put 100 on, th on two thirds again. It hits. I'm now up 100 bucks. Up. I'm up. And we're about to leave. What I told, like, Brooke can't gamble, right? But because she's not 21, she's 20, right? She turns 21 in like five months. But she's allowed to walk on the casino. Like she can't walk on the floor, but she can walk on the pathway and she can just kind of walk around because you're still allowed to be in the casino even if you're not 21. And I'm like, I tell Brooke, I'm like, if you ever see me with an absurd amount of money and I'm somehow up, tell me to leave. She's in the bathroom. All of my friends around me not one of them tells me to leave. And, you know, I'm not going to blame them, right? Because at the end of the day, it's the fact that I had fucking, like, what? Eight, not eight, nine hundred dollars in chips and I didn't fucking leave. I have eight hundred dollars in chips. And I'm up. 
And I'm like, and bro, I could have walked out with a hundred bucks, but in my mind, I was like, damn, bro, am I really going to, am I really going to spend five hours here and walk out with a hundred bucks? Nah, I gotta, I gotta bet more. And so since other people are also gambling and we're getting ready to leave, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to start throwing some big baller bets. 250 on two thirds, miss. 250 on three thirds, miss. Fucking 250 on two thirds again, miss. I, <laughs> yo. I lost it all in like three spins in like three spins and bro when I tell you this motherfucker this dealer made like a hundred bucks off me I was tipping him so much every time I hit I'm tipping him also the fucking cocktail waitresses at fucking Atlantic City come around once in a fucking blue moon buddy I got one Michelob Ultra in four hours Oh my god, and she haggled the shit out of me. She was a dickhead. While I'm gambling, this is a sidetrack story. She fucking comes up to me. She's like, I can't, I can't give you a drink. I'm like, what? She's like, you're not gambling. I'm like, what are you? I'm, I'm actively, while she's telling me this, I'm actively sitting at the table and my chips are on the board. I'm betting like a hundred bucks on one thirds. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, what do you mean I'm not gambling? You can't give me a drink. And she's like, oh, my bad. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, and then she like walk, half walks away. I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? She's like walking away. I'm like, hey, could I get like a Michelob? And she's like, no, I need to see your ID. So I have to pull out my passport because I don't have my fucking ID yet. Because I don't have my fucking ID yet because they haven't shipped it to me. I'm walking around like I'm from fucking Australia. I'm walking around with my goddamn passport. So I show her my passport. She says, what's this? You ain't never seen a passport in your life? You ain't never seen a passport? You ain't never seen a fucking passport? It's a passport. That's what it is. I don't have my ID. It's a passport. Look at it. She goes, okay. Looks at it. Stares at it for fucking five minutes. I'll get you a Michelob. She leaves for 45 minutes. She, she disappears. Disappears for 45 minutes. Comes back, hands me a Michelob. I don't have anything to tip her but a $5 chip. That's my lowest amount, so I give her five bucks. I gave her five bucks for a fucking Michelob. For a free drink. I gave her five bucks for a fucking beer. You are kidding me. I'm mad. Anyways. Never see her again. I have one drink that whole time. By the time we leave, I'm dead sober. I lost $900 on those spins. I wasn't even drunk. I was sober. I just lost that money. I'm getting ready to leave, right? I'm cashing out the slips I have, blah, blah, blah. Overall, I'm down $500 at the end of this. I don't know how, but I counted it up. I think I told the story a bit meh, right? I'm down 500 bucks. And so I'm like, this sucks. But I'm, you know, at least I'm not down more. So I'm, I'm calling the Uber. I'm telling my friend, bro, we got to leave. The Uber's on its way. I walk over to my friend and he has a 500 chip on black. And I'm like, bro, we're about to leave. And he's like, yeah, hold up. It hits double zero green. When it hits double zero green on the outside outside, you get half your money back, right? So he missed, but he got $250. He put, I tell him, I, I tap him. I say, put 250 two thirds. He puts 250 two thirds. It hits. He gets $750. He puts all 750 on black. I say, hold up. And I pull 200 more dollars out. Now I'm down seven. Get more chips. I say, if you're riding 750 black, I'm riding 750 black. I put two, I put 200 on black. It hits. He gets a thousand. What is 750 times two? He gets $1,500. I get 400 bucks. He leaves. I think he was down money in the beginning. I think he was up like 1,000 at the end of the time, right? Or at the end of the day, right? Y'all are saying, Dub, it's going to go more downhill from here. I don't think you want to know how this is going to go. I, I'm at four. I'm right now. Now I'm down $300, right? I was down 700 from the extra two. One, four. I'm down three. I'm down. In my mind, I'm like, I'm down three. Let me just put this 200 on one thirds. And if it hits, I'm up. It misses. And then I put the extra 200 that I had in chips on two on one thirds again. It misses. And then I leave. That was the end of the casino day. And I was down. I, I lost $700. Shamefully. Shamefully. Don't gamble. I lost $700. Not surprising. It was bad. Right? I It was bad. It was, it was, it, it was for my 21st. But, you know, it was still bad. Right? And I even have a picture to captivate it. Here's me when we get back to the Airbnb. 
I'm down 700. He's up a thousand, right? You could just see the the emotional, the emo the emotional difference here between both of us. And like 10 minutes later, I I came to terms with it, right? Like, I was mad, and then I was like, okay, well, I knew I was going to lose this money. It was for my 21st, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I came in here being okay with losing this amount of money. I shouldn't be bitching. And so I was fine after that. But that was, that was my lowest point. Next day rolls around. Yesterday. Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Which I also put money on. And so I put $400 on the Eagles. Surefire bet, right? They, they were the favor. Now, that $400 bet I put on the Eagles, I got back in a bet slip because it was my first bet. And so if it's your first bet on sports gambling, they usually give it to you back, right? They gave it to me back. I put it on the Nets to win tonight. I put $400 on the Eagles. They fucking lose. I have some other bets we're going to talk about. So I lose it, but they give it to me back. But they don't give it to me back in the sense that I can pull it out. They give it to me back in the sense that I have to rebet it. If I win the rebet, then I win the money back. So I put it on the Nets. If the Nets win, then I'm cashing out, and then I'll only be down, like, what? Fucking 300 bucks from the day, from the night, or whatever. I also had a few parlays, right? Let me let me get into the, some of the parlays. I hit on one of my parlays. I won $250 off of a $10 bet on one of my parlays. So that was a dub. I had two $75, par $75 parlays, right? One of them needed an A.J. Brown touchdown, which I had, or, or, and it also needed a Jalen Hurts touchdown, which it had. The only other thing it needed was Kadarius Toney on the Chiefs to get 25 receiving yards. He got five. He got five. I put $75 on this bet. If he fucking got 25 yards, I would have won $650. He got five yards, a touchdown, and then like, I don't know, a 70-yard punt return. And then he fucking sat bench the rest of the game. But yeah, no, I need I need the Nets to win tonight. Chat, what are the odds the Nets win tonight? Ooh. Are y'all ready for the regular reacts now? We're an hour and 13 minutes in the stream. I think we'll be able to, I think we'll be able to move on to the regular shit now.